Tano Palava, I saw this question on a Facebook chat, and it's a question about pronouns and the tense marker te. I'll use the Uma cards to show you what I'm talking about. We'll keep it simple with just the tense, action, and subject, or the tense, subject, and action. Okay, when it's tense, subject, action, the subject is always going to be a pronoun like him, her, they, us, and so forth. In this case, it's I or O. Ua o fa'alongo. I have heard. Ua o fa'alongo. The other way to say I is after the verb. And to say I after the verb, it's not going to be ua fa'alongo o. These only go before the verb. We're going to use these blue ones. A. There's a whole list of these that go only after the verb. Okay, so uo fa'alongo a or uo o fa'alongo. But more than likely you're going to hear it like this. Uo o fa'alongo. They all work the same. Uo o fa'alongo. I have heard. Na o fa'alongo. I heard. Sa o fa'alongo. I was hearing. And so forth. They all work the same except for one. You're probably not going to hear e o fa'alongo. E is a present habitual tense marker. And when it's used with a pronoun doer like O, you're likely going to see it turn into te. So te is the same as E. Now, there's one more thing that we have to change. When it's in that te form, the pronoun goes before the te. Okay, that is the only tense marker that does that, is the te. So you're going to use the pronoun doer, and then you're going to use te. And if I long, o te fa long, I hear, you hear. And when you're using the Uma cards, you can see that these are all gray. So although this means I as well, you're not going to say a u te fa long, because a u is the way that you say I after the verb. So you can practice getting used to these by just using the gray, the green te, just the te. You can't use any other one for this one. O te fa long. And just get used to using the other ones. E te fa'alongo. You here. Ma te fa'alongo. We here. 